I bought this a while back and it has been awesome. This is a slingshot. See, she's already bailing. She thinks the ball's coming. Sorry. It's not great, it keeps breaking. So, I'm done with this. I thought, well, if I'm upgrading my straps, let's go ahead and upgrade the frame too. So, we have... Nope. A launcher, okay. There's one hiccup, that's fine. We can fix that. Let me brainstorm and I'll get right back. Now this kit that Models provided us is pretty dang cool, here's why because it comes with, now I don't know if it came with this specifically or if they just sent us this, but they do have uh, this UV light and here's why. Because they have these, see that glow? This is their Infinity Toolkit. Now there's a reason why I'm filming this at night and it's because I want to use that glow-in-the-dark strap to our benefit, right? So this kit comes with a lot of straps. They're really awesome. They're used for a lot of things. Brand has a really cool story behind it. Highly recommend. Go check them out. But also, what they've created is these just really awesome straps, utility straps that can be used for anything, right? Today, we are going to use ours for a dog ball launcher. Probably not something that people usually use them for, but it'll be a lot of fun. So let's try it. To get on theme and to help us a little bit with our lighting while we do this build, we got these glow sticks. That'll work pretty well, yeah. Ooh. Nice. All right. And now, let's get the rest of them up. Did I do it? I don't know. I'll get better at this, guys. Sorry. Okay, so we have our straps. We've got some mood lighting around. There's a Easter egg for a future video back there. Let us know in the comments if you can figure it out. All right. I have this aluminum frame that I want to use. I can, I'll clean it up, but... The main idea is just to keep this as simple as possible. All right, okay, I'm gonna try to be quiet so I don't piss off the neighbors. But I've got these self-tapping screws. I've got just the ones that it comes on, these clips that it comes on, or that come on them. Each strap comes with one of those clips. Really cool, you can pop them in to any of these holes. So say you wanted to adjust your strap then you can always do that. I don't, I don't know how to do it. I honestly am mostly thinking about the projects I can do with it. I haven't used them for their actual purpose yet. We'll get there. I promise. I can think of so many things to use them for. Jeez. But yeah, look at that. You can kind of adjust that. You can wear them as bracelets if you want, apparently. Look at this. All right, I'm done advertising. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you we do have a code for them down below. It's a pretty cool product if you want to check them out. But I'm just going to pop these in here. I'm not even really going to try that hard to measure because the whole point of this, again, is just to keep it simple. There's no point in complicating these things. All right, we're just trying to make a simple backyard project that's fun and has a purpose. Now, for the other piece. Here's the reason for this. Frankie needs a lot of energy out, okay? I bought this a while back and it has been awesome. This is a slingshot. See, she's already bailing. She thinks the ball's coming. Sorry. 
Uh, but the, it keeps breaking. I use this surgical, like, stuff. It's not great. It keeps breaking. So, I'm done with this. I needed some straps that wouldn't break. I thought, well, if I'm upgrading my straps, let's go ahead and upgrade the frame too. So, that's why we're doing this. We've got those straps there. Let's go ahead and pop these ones on here. And that's basically our build, folks. Now, here's the deal. We obviously need to connect them together and have it have a pouch so it can shoot something. So I'm just gonna steal this one. See how easy that is to break? Nah, model's got us covered. All right, now I'm just gonna slip this right through here. Connect on the other side and slip it right back into it. That should go right in there. Really well actually. Okay, one second. Are we going to this way or this way? No, not right. This is It's me that's the problem, <laughs> apparently. All right, there we go. Nice. All right. We have a launcher. Okay. There's one hiccup. That's fine. We can fix that. Let me brainstorm and I'll get right back to you. All right. That was an easy fix. Put it down a little bit. Nice. Okay, here's what I did. I popped that second one on. Holds it just fine. Perfect. What do you think? Should we take this somewhere and try it? And then again, thank you, model, for providing this UV light. Let's go ahead and charge our straps so we can see those. Check that out. Instant charge on those. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we got. You ready, Frank? There we go. Ready, Frank? Go get it. Okay, the proof of concept is there. It worked. Now, we need to make it a little bit easier to hold while we're using it, and we need to um, make it look a little bit nicer. So, very simple build if you wanna do it just like that. That's great. Uh, I'm going to take it to the next level. So, let's get to it. First, PPE. I'm gonna be cutting something a little bit thicker, so I wanna be safe. All right, I've got this edging material, um, it's like for the edge of a, let's see, combination edge. Refer to instructions before using. I'm not gonna do that. This is just some metal like edge for your garden, right? So got a little bit of a backing there. Uh, none of that matters. I'm just gonna use it for legs. I suppose I should check real quick if I got that even close. Not quite. Good enough though. What's the saying? Good enough for government work. All right. Let's get to this. Get rid of this for now. We won't need that. Sorry, model. Um, now let's clean this up a little bit with this. But let's also clean up the metal a little bit. Good enough. Okay. I know what this is. Uh, some of you may know what it is. If you do know what it is, tell me what I'm breathing right now, because that's terrible. It's probably not good for me either. I think we have something, folks. No. 
Nice. Okay. Simple enough. I think that we should T-cord up a little bit. All right, while we wait for paint to dry, um, check out the squirrel. Okay, let's get back to final assembly. Now I did have one thought on this. Maybe we should change color to match theme. Look away, you're not supposed to see this part. We're between the clap thing. I'll be right back to this. <laughs> All right, pop this on the way we did before so it doesn't come off when we don't want it to. Yes. Woo! All right. There we have it. Let's go test this out. That's strong enough. Go get it. You can. Keep pulling, keep pulling. I am. Okay, go. Nice. Hey. Nice. All right, I am gonna flip it this way because I don't want to stab into this grass and get into trouble. Thought this would solve our problem. Okay, ready, ready? Good girl. Okay, drop. 